For so many years, I was always belittled, betrayed, abandoned. I didn't know what to do. I always felt so alone. And then I realized that the only person you truly have is yourself. You make friends with yourself, you believe in yourself, and you trust yourself. And even though you have dealt with all that pain, all that abandonment, it changes you. It changes you. It, tra it transforms you. But once you realize that you weave, that you weave your own destiny, you. it transforms you. you. But once you it changes you. It, but once you but once you, once realize, you realize that you weave your own destiny, that's when you truly and sincerely transform. So I'm going to show you a tutorial on how I create this transforming spider look for you And I went ahead and put in black contacts and did my brows off camera. So let's get started first I applied moisturizer all over my face my neck my chest my shoulders a little bit on my arms anywhere I felt I was going to have some paint so first I am taking the NYX bear with me tinted skin veil and that is in the shade natural soft beige and I'm just using a beauty sponge to buff that all over the face also, I'm applying it to my neck and my chest, anywhere where I need a solid base for what I'm going to create on my chest. Next, I'm taking a light concealer and I'm applying it in the areas that I want to either be concealed or highlighted on the points of my face. I'm also going to take some white concealer and apply that in the same areas just to make everything appear more lighter and whiter on the face. And then I'm going to take a beauty sponge again and just blend everything seamlessly just so it blends in well with the face. Next, I'm taking the NYX Wonder Stick in the shade Medium Tan and I'm contouring my cheekbones, my nose, my forehead, anywhere that I want it to appear a little bit darker and more bronzed. But this part doesn't have to be necessarily clean or neat the only thing that i really wanted to be sharp was the nose i really wanted it to appear really narrow then to set that cream base i'm going to take some bronzer and just apply a lot to the cheeks and the forehead anywhere that i did place that and then i'm going to take some setting powder and bake my face so i'm baking my nose to again have the nose appear more narrow than it actually is and then i'm going to bake under the cheekbones and under my eyes and apply more powder anywhere that i really want everything to be set and after i apply all this powder all over my face i'm going to let this sit in and then i'm going to do my chest piece so first i'm taking a pencil and I'm just going over the little tiny sketch that I made just to make all the lines darker. So this is going to be a spider and spider web. And of course, as you can see, I am changing some of the details just to make them sharper, make it more realistic. And this took a lot of time, so I'm only going to show a brief portion of it. But I am looking down at the mirror and also at a sketch of that I found online of a spider web tattoo and the spider details on that as well also if you are into spiders i know my husband is he told me to be very careful and to make sure that my lines are as straight as possible so for me it's very difficult because i genuinely have shaky hands on a normal basis so this part was actually very challenging and very difficult for me to do but i did try my best then I'm taking the NYX Wonder Stick again, and I'm going to contour my collarbones. They naturally stick out by themselves, but I really want them to pop 
even more. So I'm going to take that and then I'm going to use the same concealer that I put on my face and put that on top of the collarbones themselves so they really are lighter and highlighted a lot more. Then I'm going to blend everything in and then set them with the same bronzer and powder on top of that. Taking some black water activated paint, I'm going to go over the lines as carefully as possible to make them again as straight as I possibly can. And this was so difficult, but take your time. I do make some mistakes in this process, but it's all trial and error. And as long as you do your best and that's all that matters. But the key is for this spider web is to really make it as realistic as you possibly can and to keep those lines straight. At first, I was unsure how I really wanted to make this look and how far I wanted to take it down on the chest. But as you will see later on in the, this video, I will show you what else I do with my body and my chest and my arms and everything else. But just be sure to really make this as realistic as possible. I know that spider webs, due to research, have points at the ends, and that's really key to this look. So I went ahead and did the lines on the spider web itself, but this is going to be the spider. And I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk, and that is how I'm going to outline what the spider looks like. Again, I'm using a reference photo and doing my best on making the spider as big as possible. To portray this big spider as something very powerful, as I wanted this entire look to portray, again, I made the legs as big and long as possible, also overlapping on both sides. My biggest advice on doing this sketch with a white pencil is the fact that if you do change the outline of the leg itself when you go in with the paint, it creates a great highlighted base underneath. So with that black water activated paint again, I created the line going to the spider itself, which creates a spider web effect. And then I'm just going to fill in the body, the head, and anywhere um, I put those white lines for the legs. Then continuing, I decided to add some more web-like lines in between, below, and behind the spider itself just to make it look like the spider is actually in the web and it's not just a web around the spider. Then I'm taking the NYX Hot Singles Eyeshadow in Whipped Cream and I'm going to highlight all around the areas that I really want to pop. So again, where I had that NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, outline behind the spider i'm just going to pack on this eyeshadow on top of that and around the legs and then i'm going to highlight some parts of the web itself to shade the lines in this spider web i am taking a black matte eyeshadow and i'm going over in random areas it doesn't have to be completely neat doesn't have to be perfect it's however you feel you want this to look so i did it on the corners of the lines that was my main focus that I wanted those areas to be slightly more darker than the other parts that I did shade with the black eyeshadow. Adding the black eyeshadow really makes a difference in the entire web itself. As you can see, it creates this dark and dusty, dirty spider web, but it's also so realistic and so powerful. Then I take a NYX Hot Singles again in the shade Gold Lust, and I'm just highlighting the parts of the spider that I really want to pop more. Now to focus on the spider, I took some gold paint and I'm adding some lines and certain details to the spider itself just to make sure it doesn't get lost in the spider web itself. I also added it to its legs based on the tattoo sketch that I told you in the beginning that had some lighter features on it. So instead of using white, I decided to use gold. Then I went ahead and added that gold paint also in some parts of the spider web itself. So now we're going to do the eye tutorial. First, I used a transition shade. It was a peachy nude matte shade. And then I took a darker mustard yellow shade and I applied it over top of that. Then I took a burnt orange matte eyeshadow and I put that in the crease. Then I'm taking a copper bronze metallic eyeshadow and I'm putting that all over the lid 
with a chocolate brown matte eyeshadow on the outer corner. I'm just going to blend it in with the metallic shade and then I'm going to smoke it out to the outer corner. Then I just blended everything out. So as you can see, I changed my concept. This was my third attempt. I went ahead and did a different sketch on my face. I had some trial and error with the fangs for the spider itself. So I first went ahead and took a matte black eyeshadow to really darken and contour again. And I'm just dragging it all the way down to really make my face appear as narrow as it could possibly be. With that black water activated paint, I'm going over the lines I sketched and I'm going to create the fangs. So I'm just dividing the two to try and make this as realistic as possible for my third time. And I am taking those fangs and I created them to be black and I'm just going over everything with that paint. And then I shaded it in with black, brown, and gray eyeshadow, and I used a white liner to highlight all the points. Now I took some black liquid lipstick, and I'm just going over my entire mouth with that. And then I'm going to apply some pink highlight in the center and on the inner top of my mouth. And with some silver pink highlighter, I am going over the entire mouth with that as well. Now for the fun part. So taking black body paint, I am painting my entire arm, my inner arm, my elbows, my hands, my fingers, my fingernails, bye bye chrome nail polish. And I'm going to just drag that all the way down and up my shoulders, onto my chest, and then I'm going to buff everything out. Taking a sponge I bought at a craft store and that gold paint that I used on the spider and in the webs, I'm just going to sponge it all on my arms. And in certain areas, I didn't do my entire arms, I just did in certain spots, but I did focus on my fingers, my fingernails, and my hands. I wanted them to appear more gold than anything else. Then I just repeated the same technique with the black body paint on the other arm, neck and shoulder, hands and fingernails, fingers, everything, and then did the same technique with the gold paint. And then this is the final look. And if you follow this tutorial, you can create something just like this. Let me know down below what you create and I would love to see it. Hey bears, so this is my entry video for the NYX 2019 USA and Canada. Next, there's the words that I say that already. Can you tell I'm excited? So this is what I did. I hope you enjoy every part of this. It took me so long and I'm so proud. This is my second year entering, so wish me luck. Um, yeah, uh, I am so thrilled to enter again. And this took a lot of time and hard work and I hope it's, I hope it's good enough and yeah, I'm just so excited. But if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up at the end and Definitely subscribe if you aren't already. Wish me luck. I gotta take these contacts out because they've been in there for a long time, bears. But yes, I hope you enjoyed everything and all the parts of this video. Stay tuned for more info if I do or did not make it. And I love you guys so much. Wish me luck, bears. Bye. See you in the next one.